In this video, we're going to talk about mixtures of gases. What happens when I have more than one gas in a container? If we go back to what does a gas look like in a container, for example, we see here a container filled with uh, dots representing the particles of the gas. Remember that from the kinetic molecular theory, they're moving rapidly uh, in constant motion, and their volume is negligible compared to the volume of the container. I have not drawn it to scale. I can't draw it to scale. Um, what happens if we add a second gas to the mixture? Let's say now our sample of gas looks like this, where we have added the green dots. These are different particles, particles of a different type of gas into our container and now the red and the green are both bumping around in the container. Again, um, the theory is they're all in constant random motion. They're going to end up being the same temperature. They're con it contained in the same volume, but the particles volumes themselves are negligible compared to the volume of the container. Even if I add a third gas to the mixture, now I'll add some purple dots, I still have particles moving in constant rapid random motion, bouncing against each other in the walls uh, elastically, and the volume of all of these particles is negligible compared to the volume of the container. So essentially, it doesn't matter what each particle is. It doesn't matter uh, what the green particle is or the red particle or the purple particle. This all acts as particles in a container, and PV still equals NRT. PV equals NRT is our ideal gas law. It dictates the behavior of gases. It looks at the relationship between pressure, volume, moles, and the temperature in terms of the ideal gas constant. And this still works even if I have several different gases. However, I have to take into account the several different gases through the variable, the number of moles, and the pressure of each individual gas. So we're going to introduce an idea of a partial pressure. A partial pressure, you may have come across this before looking at solutions, a partial pressure uh, indicates the pressure of a gas, but I use the word partial in front of it to indicate that that isn't the only gas in the container. There may be more than one gas, and so I would talk about the partial pressure of each individual gas. I still use the symbol P for a partial pressure, but now I'm going to make a subscript on the P. There will be a subscript indicating which particular gas I'm talking about in my mixture for his pressure. But it's still a pressure with pressure units. I also will have to identify the number of moles of my individual gas because this is the number of particles of each individual gas, so I might be talking about the moles of gas X, for example. Um, there was a man who was studying this. His name was Dalton, and Dalton looked at the relationship of mixtures of gases, and he looked at how the pressure and the volume and the temperature varied, and what he discovered was that the total pressure of all the gases in a mixture is simply equal to the individual pressures added together, uh, the sum of all the individual pressures. For example, the pressure of gas A, whatever it is, plus the pressure, the partial pressure of gas B, plus the partial pressure of gas C, and then however many gases you have, you just simply add up all their individual partial pressures, their individual partial pressures, but PV still equals NRT, and so the partial pressure of gas A times its volume equals the number of moles of gas A times RT, that still holds. PV still equals NRT. Additionally, the P of the total, the partial, the, I'm sorry, the pressure of the total mixture, the total pressure of the mixture is still equal to NRT over V. I realize I've changed the equation here. I've gotten the pressure by itself by dividing both sides by V. So the total pressure of gas in a container is simply equal to NRT over V because PV equals NRT. But I do have to be aware that now my N, this is my total number of moles. So all of my moles added together, PV equals NRT still works. If I'm looking at an individual gas, PV equals NRT still works as long as I take into account only the partial pressure of that gas and the number of moles of that gas. 
And so now I have a way to handle the pressures of gases in a container, or I can look for the total pressure of the gas in a container um, by using Dalton's law.